practice. I'm Rebecca. I'll be leading you through your class. I have Randall and Lacey. They're going to be demonstrating for you guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. We begin the practice with pranayama breathing, deep breathing, good for your lungs, respiratory system. Inhale by your nose, exhale by your mouth, always using your throat. Nose and mouth are just a passageway. Breathing as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Come to the middle of your mat, bring your feet together, toes and heels tucking. Interlock 10 fingers underneath your chin. Make sure that you have a nice and tight grip. Knuckles stay glued under the chin, shoulders relaxed. If there's a mirror in front of you, find yourself in the mirror, concentrate, meditate, have a good practice, and begin. Inhale, head down, arms up, inhale through your nose, stretch your elbows up, chest up, lungs full. Exhale, slowly push your head back, eyes open, mouth open, look back, grip tight, empty your lungs, bring your elbows forward to touch. Inhale, head down, slowly bring your chin parallel to the floor, stretch your elbows all the way up as high as you can, chest up, spine straight, full lungs, exhale, head up, push your knuckles into your chin, push your head all the way back, try to see the wall behind you, grip tight. Inhale, head down, stomach, 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 suck it in, tighten it up. Hold it in, maybe even see your rib cage in the mirror. Exhale, head up. Hip muscles nice and tight, contracted. A little bit more forward, eyes stay open, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Body weight on your heels. Lock your knees, suck your stomach in, chest up, chest up, chest up. Exhale, head up. Make sure that your spine stays straight, no back bending, only arms and head move together in six seconds synchronized. Inhale, head down for one. Two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, slowly head back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, head down. Slowly chin down. Look in the mirror. Stretch your elbows all the way up as high as you can. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. Knuckles into your chin. Drop your shoulders down. Stretch your elbows forward. Grip tight. Inhale, head down. Use your throat. Little vibration, constriction at the back of your throat. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. Mouth open wide, creating an H A ha sound as if you fog a mirror on the ceiling. Inhale, head down. Last two first sets. Slowly chin down, elbows up. Shoulders might hurt just a little bit. Full lungs. Exhale, push your head back, creating a rhythm with the breath and movement of your arms and head in exactly six seconds, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, last one, make it your biggest, deepest, your fullest inhale, so far, chest up. Exhale, push your head back, knuckles into your chin, stomach and grip tight, squeeze every drop out, elbows touch. Relax, arms down. If you like, you can roll your neck and shoulders a couple times. So we do every posture twice, except for the last posture, so you get a second chance. Toes and heels touch, second sets are half as long. Interlock 10 fingers under your chin, knuckles to chin, thumbs to throat, shoulders relaxed. Look in the mirror in front of you, concentrate, swallow, and begin. Inhale, head down, arms up, inhale through your nose, stretch your elbows up to the ceiling, chest up, lungs full, exhale, slowly push your head back, knuckles into your chin, grip tight, stomach in, squeeze every drop out, inhale, head down, bring your chin down, look in the mirror, suck your stomach in, chest up, chest up, chest up, exhale, push your head back, keep the chest lifted, spine straight, stomach in, grip tight, elbows touch, nice, inhale, head down, body weight on your heels, lock your knees, chest up, eyes open, full lungs, exhale, push your head back, you have six counts to empty your lungs, a long slow exhale, grip tight, elbows touch, inhale, head down, six counts to fill your lungs, a long slow inhale, elbows highest point, lungs fullest, Exhale, head up, mouth open, grip tight, empty your lungs. Ideally, your elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, head up, push your head back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Inhale, head down, last two. 
Really try to inhale more than your last breath. More and more and more. Exhale, head up. Grip tight. Stomach in. Empty your lungs. Squeeze every drop out. Create more space for your last breath. Inhale, head down. Make it your biggest, deepest, your fullest inhale of the day so far. Exhale, push your head back. Really nice. Knuckles into the chin. Stomach in. Grip tight. Squeeze every drop out. Elbows touch. Relax, arms down. If you like, you can roll the neck and shoulders again. If not, stand still. Do your best to breathe through your nose for the rest of the class. Mouth stays closed. We begin with half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Ardha Chandrasana with Pada Hastasana. Toes, heels touch. Inhale, arms overhead. Palms together. Interlock your fingers. Release your index. Cross your thumbs. Make sure you have a nice tight grip. Hands, palms glued up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. Inhale, breathing. Stretch up to the ceiling. Right and left several times. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. Make sure you feel stretching in both sides of your body all the way up to your fingertips stretching. Try to touch the ceiling when you cross through the middle. When you feel like you can't stretch anymore, stop in the center. And set up your posture. Make sure your elbows are locked, arms glued to your ears. There's no gap between your biceps, arms, and head. Push your hips forward a little, opening your hips and pelvis. Good upper body back, opening your chest and ribcage. Throughout the posture, weight on your heels. Arms head back, chin up. Concentrate in the mirror one spot. Don't even blink. Inhale, breathing. Full lungs stretch up out of your waist. Touch the ceiling. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretch in the left side body all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Hips more forward, upper body back, body weight on your heels. Look in the mirror. Go push your left hip forward. Get your two hips in line. Scoop your right shoulder more forward to open your chest. Like a flower petal blooming, come down, push. Come down, push. Come down, push. Inhale, come up. Stop in the center. Take a deep breath. Inhale, stretch up. Slowly bend your body to the left. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. Create a stretch in the right side body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Hips more forward, upper body back a couple inches, body weight on your heels. Look in the mirror. Push your right hip forward. Get your hips in line from the side. Scoop your left shoulder forward. Open your chest. Good. Come down more. Push. Like a flower puddle blooming. Come down. Push. Push change. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. First back bend. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Relax your head back as far as it goes. Let your head go back all the way. Look for the floor behind you. Bring your arms back immediately. Try to touch the back wall. Bending your spine backwards from coccyx to neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine back or bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall backwards. Body weight on your heels. Inhale. Push your stomach, legs, hips forward. Bring your arms back. Look back. Go back. Way back. Fall back. Inhale, come up, stop in the center. Really nice. Stomach and bend your knees. Carefully go down front side, arms and head together. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. Making sure that your low back is nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. Relax your head. Bend one knee, lock one knee. Shake it out. Maybe you squat down, stand up on your toes, check in with your body here. See how you're feeling today. Maybe a little tighter, stiff in some areas. Maybe not. Be careful in the first set. It's a U-turn from back bend to forward bend. Your spine is not warmed up yet. Hands to feet. Bend your knees. Grab your heels from behind. Step on five fingers of each hand. Baby fingers touch side by side. Elbows behind your legs on the calves throughout the posture. Please don't lose your grip. Relax your head, pull your heels, stretch your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, your body glued in half, Javanese ham sandwich. There is no gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back as hard as you can. Try to lock your knees. Create a tremendous stretch. Pain sensation all over underneath your legs. Inside out, bones to skin, coccyx to toes. With your smiling, happy face, keep pulling. Pull harder. Push your knees back and lock your knees. Exhale, stomach in. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Touch your face. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Last chance. Lock your knees. Inhale, come up the opposite way. Arms head together. Core tight. Stretch up to the ceiling. Exhale, arms down, side. Breathe through your nose. 
Good. We're going to repeat the second set. Toes and heels touch. Inhale, arms overhead. Nice and tight grip. Arms glued to your ears. No gap. Chin up. Body weight on your heels. Focus one spot of the mirror in front of you on the wall, whatever's there. Inhale, breathing. Stretch up. Touch the ceiling. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or knees. And maybe you start where you left off in the first set as long as you can maintain the form as well as your breath. Breathing through your nose. No breath, no yoga. Suck your stomach in. Lean the body weight into your heels more. Push your left hip forward. Two hips in line. Hold it there. Scoop your right shoulder forward. Open your chest. Come down more. Push your hips over. Squeeze your palms. Come down. Push. Come down more. Push. Change. Inhale. Come up. Stop in the center. Deep breath. Stretch up. Slowly bend your body to the left. Without bending your elbows or knees, push your hips to the right. Make sure both feet stay planted. Core tight, toning your obliques, chin up, arms back with your ears. Scoop your left shoulder forward. Come down a little bit more. Push your hips to the right, creating a beautiful half moon shape. Come down, push. Come down, push. Change. Inhale, come up. Stop in the center. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Relax your head back as far as you go. Sorry, second back bend. You've been here once, so don't be scared. Look for the floor. Stretch your arms up. Bring your arms back. Try to touch whatever spot you can see on the wall behind you. If you can see the floor, try to touch it. Push your upper body back. Body weight on your heels. Inhale. Push your stomach, legs, hips forward. Bring your arms back more. Look back. Go back. Way back. Fall back. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. Beautiful, lacy stomach in. Bend your knees carefully. Go down front side. Arms and knit together. Hands on the floor. Move your hips right, left, right, left, right, left. Shake it out. Relax your head. Let your head, neck, shoulders relax. No need to hold it up. Don't work harder than you have to. All right, still be careful in your second set. We're warming the body from the inside out. Second set, hands to feet, bend your knees, scoop up your heels from behind. Try to get your baby fingers touching side by side. So think, instead of fingertip to fingertip, think side by side. Eventually your fingers point in the same direction as your heels. Elbows behind your legs, don't let go, relax your head, pull. As you stand on your fingers, pull, stretch your body down. You feel the hips move up a little bit. Body glued to legs, touch your stomach on thighs, chest on the knees. Eventually, maybe second set, you touch your face on the legs below the knees. Slowly push your knees back. Try to lock your knees. Create a stretch all over under the legs. Keep pulling without intermission, without interruption. One day you're going to touch the top of your head to your toes. Pull harder. Push your knees back. Lock your knees. Tuck your stomach in. Lock your knees. Roll forward. Touch your face. Last chance. Lock your knees. Inhale. Come up. Arms head together. Core tight. Stretch up to the ceiling. And exhale, arms downside, breathe through your nose. Moving into awkward ukatasana, three parts to the posture, right foot step to the right, six inches apart, six inches between toes and heels. If you need to measure, it's two fists distance between the feet. Perfect. Feet straight, don't change them. Arms up parallel to the floor, five fingers together, elbows locked, triceps nice and tight, nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward. Imagine you're going to touch the mirror in front of you. Exhale, suck your stomach in, hold it in, sit down, feet flat position, hips in the chair, spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight onto your heels, lift your chest up, upper body back, total spine back or bending, suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles, suck it in, tighten it up, hold it in, see your rib cage in the mirror in front of you, and open your knees if they got closer, this should be six inches between your toes, heels, knees, and hands, chest up more, chin up, lean back, fall back, Way back, change, inhale, come up, nice arms, see there, second part, Con concentrate, meditate, stand up on your toes, maximum like a ballerina, come up high on your tippy toes, tremendous concentration, focus one spot, if you blink, you might lose your balance, stretch your spine, chest, head up to the ceiling, sit down on top of your toes, spine straight from start to finish, hips and head, slide down the wall behind you, into the chair is your goal. Bring your knees up, chest up, upper body back. Come up a little higher onto your toes. It should not go below the chair. It's sitting in the chair. Change slowly up, spine straight, get down on the feet. Third and last part here. Come up a little on the toes. Bring your knees together. Squeeze your knees, super glue. Exhale, slide down the wall. Ten counts in your head. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down, leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine up. Half inch gap between your hips and heels. 
feel your hips and head on the wall behind you. No gap anywhere. Squeeze your knees together a little down and forward. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to your legs, spine straight from the side. Your body looks like you're holding a box. Take a deep breath. Inhale, push up slow as you went down. Knees together, arms strong, spine straight. Awesome control. Right foot back, arms down. Breathe. Really strengthening your legs in this posture. Second set, right foot step to the right. Maybe same footprint if you can see it. Feet straight, remeasure if you need. Arms up parallel to the floor. Go ahead, five fingers together. Tight arms means the light arms. Stretch forward. Exhale, suck your stomach and hold it in. Sit down, feet flat position. Hips in the chair, sit down low. Body weight onto your heels. Lift your chest up, upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Tighten it up. Hold it in. Open your knees if they got closer. You should feel like you're going to fall backwards. The arms are your counterbalance. Stretch forward, then lean back, fall back, way back. Change. Inhale, come up. Arms stay there. Second part, come up on your toes. Maximum like a ballerina. If that's as far as you go, stay here. Tremendous concentration. Focus one spot. Imagine I'm pulling your hair to the ceiling. Sit down on top of your toes. Spine straight from start to finish. Hips and head slide down the wall behind you. Into the chair is your goal. Bring your knees up. Chest up. Press your heels forward. Get higher onto your toes. One day your feet perpendicular to the floor. Sitting in the chair. Change slowly up. Spine straight down on the feet. Third and last part. Come up a little on the toes. Bring your knees together. Super glue your knees, inner thighs, exhale, slide down the wall, 10 counts in your head, maybe 12 or 15 counts this time. Go as slow as you can, all the way down. If you have to drop, no big deal. Drop the hands to the floor, bring the arms back up, stretch your spine up, hips and head on the wall behind you, core tight, arms strong. If you want to test your knees, you can bounce. You don't have to, but if you like, bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and balance. Beautiful. Inhale, push up, slow as you went down. Push the floor away from you, knees together, down and forward, arms strong, spine straight. So nice. Right foot back, arms down. Breathe. Doing good. We have one more posture in our warm-up. Eagle, Garudasana, toes and heels touch. Look at your arms, which is right, left. Don't mix them up. Inhale, arms overhead sideways. Swing your right arm under your left. Cross, twist like ropes, hands, palms together in front of your face. Thumbs towards your face, baby fingers towards the mirror. If you can't get your palms together, interlace your fingers. If you can't reach the hands together, you can also grab opposite shoulders, pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in, sit down in the chair, upper body back, stay down there, lift your right leg as high as possible over your left, cross your legs, twist like ropes, right foot underneath your left calf, one day five toes on the other side, and sit down more, twist like ropes, arch your upper body back, no gap between your ankle and calf, bring your knees to the right, Upper body left, get your feet, knees, elbows, hands in one line. If your foot comes out, sit down. If you lose your balance, chest up, suck your stomach in, pull your elbows down, upper body back at the end. Change, feet together, inhale, arms overhead. Swing your left arm under right, cross twist, pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in, sit down in the chair. Upper body back, stay down there. Lift your left leg as high as possible over the right. Higher you lift, more room you have to twist. The left foot underneath your right calf, five toes on the other side. Focus one spot for a more steady posture. Breathe. Sit more, twist more. Upper body back, no gap between your ankle and calf. Bring your knees to the left. Upper body right, get your feet, knees, elbows, hands in one line. If your foot coming out, sit down. If you lose your balance, chest up, stomach in. Pull your elbows down, sit a little bit lower, upper body back. Change, nice hold, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, straight to second set, right arm under left, zoom, cross, twist. Use your momentum and sweat, pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in, sit down in the chair. If you sit lower this time, upper body back. Lift your right leg as high as possible over your left, cross, twist. Right foot underneath your left calf, focus, breathe. Sit down more, twist like ropes, arch your upper body back. Again, bring your knees to the right, upper body left, get your feet, knees, elbows, hands in one Line, sit down a little bit more, hold it there. Change, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, left arm under right, zoom, cross, twist. Pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in, sit down in the chair. Upper body back, stay low, lift your left leg as high as possible over the right. Cross, twist, left foot underneath your right calf. Focus, breathe, core tight, protecting your back and spine. If your foot's not hooked yet, squeeze your inner thighs. Foot hooked, eliminate the gap between your ankle and calf. Pull your elbows down, sit a little bit lower, upper body back. 
change. Feet together, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, arms down, take a breath. Party time, have some water if you like. All right, so first and only official water break. If you like it, if not, that's okay too. Remember, less is more. The more water you drink, the harder it is to contract your stomach muscles. And we're going to start off the next series of the class, the balancing series, balancing on a standing locked knee. You're going to hear the term lock your knee. Make sure you're not bending the knee or hyperextending the knee, contracting the quad to lock your knee, essentially protect it. Feet together, coming back to the middle of your mat. Standing at Janine Pose, Danda Yamana, Johnny Shirasana. Wipe your hands if you need. Shift the body weight to your left leg. Distribute the body weight over your left foot equally the same. Wipe your hands. Suck your stomach in. Round over and grab your right foot. <coughs> a couple inches below the toes. All ten fingers interlock. Make sure you have a nice tight grip. Look in the front mirror. Make sure your left knee is locked. Solid steel. A lamppost. Unbroken. Cannot bend. You have no knee. And only inhale, breathing, right leg, lift up, stretch forward until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor, not higher, not lower, left knee locked. Take a deep breath, continuously kick your right leg heel forward, turn your foot in from the ankle to your five toes turned towards your face. If you're standing knee bend, your posture hasn't started just yet. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in. If your both knees are locked, knee perfect upside down out from the side, you can balance, bend your elbows. They touch the calf. And one day, go below, hold it there, lock your knee. Change, carefully come out the opposite way, feet together, wipe your hands. Do the weight to your right leg, distribute the weight over your right foot equal. Stomach in, round over, grab your left foot. Couple inches below the toes, ten fingers in or lock, nice tight grip. Look in the mirror, make sure your right knee is locked, solid steel, contract the quad. Steel limb pose, cannot bend, no knee. And then only inhale, left leg up, stretch forward, parallel to the floor, right knee locked. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your left leg heel out. Turn your foot in from the ankle. Five toes turn towards your face. If you're standing knee bend, your posture hasn't started yet. Heel out, toes in. If your both knees are locked, knee perfect upside down now. Bend your elbows. They touch the calf. Eventually go below. Hold it where you are. Lock your right knee. Change. Carefully come out opposite way. Good Randall. Feet together. You can do a one-second optional back bend if you like. Hands on the low back. Push your hips forward. Drop your head. Come back up. Arms down. Chest up. Breathe. Moving on to second step. Wipe your hands. Shift the body weight to your left leg. Plant your foot. Stomach in. Round over. Grab your right foot. Maybe you're just working on grabbing the right foot for now. That's okay. Stay here. If you drop it, try it again. Make sure your left knee's locked. Solid steel. Really press through the big toe ball. The foot contract your left quad. Then only inhale, right leg up, stretch forward, parallel to the floor. Nice, not higher, not lower. Left knee locked. Take a deep breath. Kick your heel out. Turn the toes towards your face. Stretch your Achilles above your heel. If your both knees are locked, knee perfect upside down L. Bend your elbows. If they touch below the calf, stomach in, chin to chest. Touch your head to knee. Change. Carefully come out opposite way. Awesome. Feet together. All right, last one here. Make up your mind. It's mind over matter. Lock your standing right leg. Plant your foot. Wipe your hands. Stomach and round over. Grab your left foot. A couple inches below the toes. Again, if you fall out, just try it again. All right, take it step by step. Make sure your right knee is locked. Solid steel. If your knee is locked and you have the left foot, inhale, left leg up. Stretch forward. Kick the mirror. Leg parallel to the floor. Right knee locked. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your heel out. Turn the toes towards your face. If your both knees are locked and you can balance, bend your elbows. If your elbows go below the calf, Stomach in, use your extra strength, chin to chest, touch your head to knee, standing head to knee. Change, carefully come out, feet together, nice work. You could do another back bend or skip it. There's a back bend in the next posture. Come back up, arms down, chest up, breathe. Moving on to standing bow pulling pose. Dande Mana Dhanurasana, bring your right hand out, palm up, elbow touching your body, bring your hand out to the side, don't turn it. Drop it. Grab your right foot behind you at the inside of your ankle. Make sure you're the ankle. Nice side grip. Left arm up. <coughs> Chin to shoulder. Palm forward. Bring your knees together to start. Lock your standing knee. 
Inhale, breathing. Charge your body forward. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously, kick your right leg back and up toward the ceiling. Bring your body down, abdomen, chest, parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your right leg up as hard as you can. You should see your foot over the center of your head in the mirror. Kick back harder. Right shoulder pulled invisible behind the left. Two shoulders in line, stretching in opposite directions like a natural human traction. Stretch your left fingertips forward. Touch the mirror. Touch your shoulder to chin. Shoulder blades, scapula stretching out of the body. The kick and stretch is equal, simultaneous, 50-50. If you lose the balance, you've got to kick harder body down more stretch forward kick back more and kick harder the harder you kick you can balance here forever kick up one more time change let's switch sides left hand out palm up bring it out drop it grab your left ankle inside five fingers together it's a long posture take your time right arm up palm forward bring your knees together lock your standing knee like the last posture inhale breathing Charge your body forward. Try to touch the mirror with your fingertips. Simultaneously, kick your left leg back and up. Bring your body down, abdomen, chest, parallel to the floor. Keep kicking your left leg up as hard as you can. See your foot over the center of your head in the mirror. Kick back harder. Left shoulder pulled invisible behind the right. Good. Touch the mirror with your fingertips. Shoulder to chin. Shoulder blade scapula stretch out of the body. Kick and stretch equal, simultaneous, 50-50. Lose the balance. Kick harder, body down. Stretch, kick up one more time. Change, carefully come out, feet together, arms down, breathe. Starting to get the heart rate up. You're shifting the blood from one side of the body to the other and back again. Second set, right hand out, half as long. Bring it out, drop it, grab your right ankle inside. Five fingers together. Left arm up, chin to shoulder. Nice and strong arm. It's a bow and arrow posture. Your left arm is like an arrow. Broken arrow never hits the target. Keep it strong. Chin up. Inhale, breathing. Charge your body forward. Try to touch the mirror. Take your time simultaneously. Kick your right leg back. Kick up. Bring your body down. Abdomen, chest parallel to the floor. It's okay. Try it again. Kick back harder. See your foot over the top of your head. Point your toes. Right shoulder behind the left. Touch the mirror with your fingertips. Body down. Stretch. Kick up one more time. Change. All good. Kick to come out. Feet together. Arms down. Left hand out. Palm up. Bring it out. Drop it. Grab your left ankle inside. Five fingers together. Best one yet. Right arm up. Palm forward, chin to shoulder, bring your knees together. Find your balance here first. It's a little bit wobbly, stay here. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward. Try to touch the mirror, kick and stretch. Take your time moving with power and confidence. Keep kicking, don't stop kicking. Remember to breathe, kick as hard as you can. You see your toes, the heel, one day the calf over the center of your head. Kick harder, left shoulder, pull behind the right. Touch the mirror with your fingertips, shoulder to chin. Kick and stretch equal, 50-50 simultaneous. Body down more, stretch for it. Kick back, kick harder, give it all you've got. Kick up one more time. Nice change. Kick to come out. Feet together. Arms down. Take a step to the back of your mat for two within Dasana balancing stick. This posture only lasts 10 seconds. You've got to make up your mind. Use all your strength in half a second. Inhale. Arms overhead. Interlock your fingers. Release your index. Thumbs cross. Chin up. Arms back. Inhale. Breathing. Right leg step forward. Big step. Lock both knees. Come down. Arms. Body. Head. Leg. Everything parallel to the floor from the side of your body. A capital T is in Tom. You got it. No broken umbrellas. Every muscle tight, contracted. Plant your standing foot. Stretch in opposite directions. Human tug of war. Chest down, leg up. Stretch. Inhale, come up. Beautiful, you guys. Feet together. Arms back. Chin up. Inhale, breathing. Left leg, step forth. Walk both knees. Come down. Arms, body, head, leg. Everything parallel to the floor. From the side, your body, a capital T. A tight body is a light body. Every muscle, tight, contracted. Stretch opposite directions. Human tug of war. Chest down, leg up. Lock your knees. Stretch. Inhale, come up. Feet together. Arms down. Breathe, really elevating the heart rate here, sending the blood to the lower chambers of your heart. Second set, inhale, arms overhead. You guys got this. Nice and tight grip, chin up, arms back. Inhale, breathing, right leg step forward. Lock both knees, come down, arms, body, head, leg, everything parallel to the floor. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Make up your mind, get parallel, create the stretch. Squeeze your palms, lock your knee, pointed toes, stretch, more stretch. Inhale, come up. 
Perfect. Feet together. Arms back. Chin up. Inhale. Left leg. Step forth. Lock both knees. Come down. Arms. Body. Head. Leg. Everything parallel to the floor from the side. Capital T. Tight body. Light body. Squeeze your palms. Lock your knee. Plant your standing foot. Chest down. Leg up. Stretch. Inhale. Come up. Feet together. Arms down. Breathe. Be as still as you can. Moving into standing separate legs. Stretch. Take a step off the left side of your mat. Maybe at home you want to stay on the mat. It's up to you. We're going to step to the left sides of our mat here. Dante Yamana Bibhaksa Pada Pashi Motsanasana. Inhale, arms overhead sideways. Right leg step to the right. A big step, four feet minimum. Immediately arms down parallel to the floor. Palms down. Heels in line. Turn your toes in slightly pigeon toe. Toes in more than heels. Chin up. Exhale, stomach in. Slowly go down front side. Chin forward, chest forward. All the way down, knees locked. You got it. Grab your heel from the outside, standing on five fingers of each hand. If you can't grab your heel, grab the outsides of your feet. If you can't reach the outsides of your feet, bring your hands on the floor in front of your face, just like Randall, about 12 inches apart. Lock your knees. Roll for like a wheel. Body weight into your toes. Pull. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. You're trying to touch your floor down the floor between your feet. If you can't, and you can open your legs more and more and more. Pull harder. Chin forward. Roll forward. First, feel your leg stretch and your hip stretch and your lower spine, total spine. One day, whole body stretch. 360 degree angle inside out. Bones to skin. Coccyx to toes. Coccyx to forehead. Pull harder. Roll forward. Touch your forehead. Inhale. Come up the opposite way. Arms strong. Right foot back to left. Arms overhead. Arms down side. Breathe. Second set. Inhale, arms overhead, half as long. Right leg set to the right. Arms on same time parallel to the floor. And if you touch your head easily, first step. Take a shorter step, second set. Heels in line, toes in, chin up. Exhale, stomach in. Slowly go down front side. Think about lengthening through your spine as you fold forward. Grab your heels from the outside, standing on five fingers of each hand. Outsides of your feet or hands on the floor under your face. Lock your knees. There's that term again. Lock your knees. That means contract your quads. It allows the back of your legs to safely stretch through your hamstrings. Roll for like a wheel. Pull. Stretch your body down. If you fall, don't worry. Your hands will catch you. It's automatic. If you have the feet and your knees are locked, you're sure of it, bend your elbows in front of your shins. Just like Lacey, bring your shoulders away from your ears. One day your spine will be perfectly straight. Cock six to nine. You touch your forehead between the feet. Beautiful. Inhale, come up the opposite way. Arms strong. Right foot back to left. Arms overhead. Arms down. Breathe. Okay, take a breath here. Moving in triangle. Trigonasana. Inhale, arms overhead sideways. Right leg step to the right. A big step. Four feet minimum. Immediately arms down. Push your hips forward. Arms back. Open your chest. Turn your right foot out to the right all the way. Pivot from your heel. And then turn it a half inch more. Bend your right knee, sit down, bounce a couple times like a motorcycle ride. Your goal is to get your right thigh, bicep, parallel to the floor. So one day your right leg looks like a perfect upside down L. Don't let your hips come up, arms back, chest open. Inhale, turn your arms, bring your right elbow in front of your right knee, stretching to one day touch between big and second toe. It's okay if you don't touch today. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin, see your left shoulder, profile of your face visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath, stretch up, right arm down, left arm up. Both arms are stretching in opposite directions, creating space in the chest. Push your left hip down and forward. Right knee back gently with the help of your elbow. Turn or twist your upper body back like spine twist. You got it. Touch your toes. Left knee locked. Left foot flaxed. Inhale. Come up. Arms strong. Unbend the knee. Turn your right foot to center and your left foot out to the left all the way. Bend your left knee. Sit down. Bounce a couple times. Bounce and bounce and bounce again. Your goal is to get your left thigh Parallel to the floor, one day your left leg looks like an upside down L. Hips forward, arms back, inhale, turn your arms. Bring the left elbow in front of the left knee, stretching to one day touch between big and second toe. Look up to the ceiling, look up past your fingertips. See if you can touch your chin to your right shoulder. Take a deep breath, stretch up. Left arm down, right arm up. Push your right hip a little more down and forward. Left knee back gently with the help of your elbow. Turn and twist your upper body back. Touch your toes. Right knee locked. Right foot flat. Inhale, come up. Arms strong. We'll turn your left foot in. Feet back together. Arms down side. 
Breathe, really nice triangle posture. Is this a master posture of the class? Use your entire body, inside out, head to toe, bones to skin. Second set, inhale, arms overhead, half as long, right leg step to the right, big step, arms down. A good measurement is a wrist distance step. It's a little different for every person. Hips forward, arms back. Turn your right foot out, bend your knee, sit down. Maybe you can sit a little bit lower second set. But we're also working deep into the hips. And over time, when you improve the posture, you'll sit lower. Arms back, chest open, inhale, and turn the arms. Right elbow in front of right knee. Look up to the ceiling, touch your chin to your left shoulder. Take a deep breath, stretch up and down, opposite directions. Push your left hip a little more down and forward. Right knee back with the elbow, turn or twist your upper body back. Touch your toes, inhale, come up. Arms strong, beautiful. Turn the right foot in back to center and your left foot out. Bend your left knee, sit down, bounce a couple times maybe if you like. Again, see if you can sit a little bit lower. Don't let your hips come up, arms back, chest open, inhale, turn your arms. Left elbow in front of left knee, it's like six o'clock, look up to the ceiling, there's a straight line with the arms, stretching up and down in opposite directions. Push your right hip a little more down and forward, left knee back, gently with the elbow, turn, twist your upper body back, make sure your right knee is locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, come up, arms strong, unbend your knee, turn your left foot in, feet back, arms down, Breathe. And take a breath here. Marriage between your heart and lungs. Moving on to slowly, slowing the heart rate down a little bit in the next posture. Standing separate leg, head to knee. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together. Just cross your thumbs this time. Arm glued to your ears, chin up, stretch up to the ceiling. Right foot step to the right, three feet minimum, 36 inches. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels to the right, 180 degrees. Push your left hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times. If I was looking at your body from the side, hips are in line, right? Not one in front of the other. Heels in line, backside foot 45 degree angle. Exhale, tuck your chin, arms and head together. You go down front side, look at your stomach. Suck it in, round over, touch your forehead to your front knee. If you can't touch your forehead, bend your front knee as much as you need. It doesn't matter how far, but you've got to touch your forehead. Hands beyond your toes, elbows locked. Press against the floor with your fingertips. Try to get your front knee to lock. Stomach in, eyes open, throat choke, breathing normal through your nose. Shift the body weight into your front leg. Feel your right hip move up, two hips in line. Lock your front knee a couple times at the end. Inhale, come up, arms head together, core tight, stretch up. Keep the left hip forward as you uncurl. You got it. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels to the left, 185 degrees. Push your right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Exhale, tuck your chin, arms head together, go down. Look at your stomach, suck it in, round over, touch your forehead to front knee. Again, bend your front knee as much as you need. Hands beyond your toes, elbows locked, press against the floor. Stomach in, eyes open, throat choke. Back leg nice and strong, shift your body weight into your front leg. Feel your left hip move up, push your knee back. Lock your knee. Inhale, come up. Arms head together. Core tight. Stretch up. Right hip stays forward. You got it. Quarter turn to the right. Right foot back to left. Arms down. Be still. Breathe. Second set. Inhale, arms overhead. Palms together. Cross your thumbs. Arms with ears. Chin up. Stretch up. Right leg step to the right. Three feet minimum. If it's a bigger step, that's fine. Pick up your toes. Pivot to the right. 180. If you have nice long legs, you might need a longer step. Push your left hip forward, exhale, tuck your chin, arms head together, go down, look at your stomach, suck it in, round over, touch your forehead to front knee, hands beyond your toes. Again, even if your knees bend, the forehead doesn't touch, maybe you take a little wider step. Press into the floor with your fingertips, it's a combination of rabbit and balancing stick here in this posture, stomach in, throat choked, eyes open, shift your weight forward, use your forehead, see if you can push your knee back, lock your knee. Inhale, come up, arms head together, core tight, stretch up, keep the left hip forward as you uncurl, pick up your toes, swing around on your heels to the left. If you move on the heels, you won't have to adjust the feet so much. Push your right hip forward, exhale, tuck your chin, go down, arms head together, look at your stomach, suck it in, round over, forehead to front knee. Bend your front knee as much as you need, hands beyond the toes. Get your forehead to the knees best you can, creating a compression in your throat. It's good for your thyroid, parathyroid, thymus gland, metabolism, and your immune system.
system. Shift your weight forward, push your knee back, lock your knee. Inhale, come up, arms, head together, core tight, stretch up. Quarter turn to your right, feet back together, arms down, three. Last two postures for a standing series. Come back to the middle of your mat. Three, and toe, where it began. Toes and heels touch, three, Tadasana. Focus in the front mirror, one spot. Grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Right leg lifts all the way up. Heel to your costume, sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Be careful with your knee. Push your hips forward, gently right knee back and down. One day your knees line up from the side, opening your hips and pelvis like triangle. Stomach in, stretch up, chest up, hips and shoulders parallel to the floor. Bring the right hand to the center of your chest. If you can balance, left hand to meet it, namaskar. Hold your foot if it slips. Left knee locked, thigh contracted. Stomach in, spine straight, eyes open, breathing normal. Change, arms and legs down, feet together, nice concentration. Focus in the mirror, one spot. Grab your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Left leg lifts up, heel to costume, sole of the foot facing the ceiling. If it hurts, bring the left knee down, bring the knee back up. Take your time. Right? Practice, practice, never perfect. Stomach and stretch out first the left hand to the center of your chest. If you can balance, right hand up. It's more important to hold your foot than palms together. Right knee locked, stomach in. Eyes open, breathing normal. Change, arms and leg down, feet together. Toes stand, Padangasasana, repeat tree. Stop at any point. Look on the floor, four feet in front of you. Focus one spot, don't move your eyes. Bring your right foot to your left thigh wherever you feel comfortable. It does not have to be as high as a last posture. Hold your foot or hands together. You can stay here, stretching up tall. If your knees feel good, fold forward from your lower spine. Reach out, touch both hands. You can stop at any point. Ten fingers touch, bend your knee. Come up on your toes, sit on your heel. Hands walk to the sides of your body. Stretch your spine up, chest up, balancing on your fingertips. Knees in line, parallel to the floor, focusing four feet in front of you. Left hand to the center of your chest. Right hand up if you can balance. Namaskar. Toes stand, push up the opposite way. Carefully come back up to standing, core tight. Stretch up tall. Release. Feet together, arms down. Look on the floor, four feet in front of you. Bring your left foot to your right thigh, wherever you feel comfortable. Hold the foot or hands together. Knees feel good. Fold forward. Reach out. Touch both hands. Bend your knee. Walk on the toes. Sit on your heel. Hands walk to the sides of the body. Stretch your spine up. Chest up off the heel. Balance on the fingertips. Hips up off the heel. Focus, left hand up and then right. Levitate. Good, toes and push up the opposite way. Stretch up tall, core tight. Release, feet together, arms down. If you like, you can honor yourself with your standing series. Turn around, relax on your back in dead body pose. Maybe you have some water. whatever you need to do. And then working your way, find your savasana, relaxing on your back. And the setup goes as follows. Bring your heels to touch, toes fall apart. Naturally lining your hips and spine, arms on the towel, palms face the ceiling. Head straight, eyes always open, breathing always normal through your nose. Whole body relax. Do the best you can. Dead body pose.
bring awareness to your body, focus back to the room if it's drifted. We're going to start the floor series off with wind removing pose, Tavada Mukhtasana. Lift your right leg up, interlock 10 fingers below your knee, pull your knee to your right shoulder, completely avoiding your ribcage. Maybe out, down, and back in towards your shoulder. Make sure your left leg is straight, calf on the floor. If not, flex your left foot in. Chin to chest, neck flat on the floor, no gap underneath. Elbows in, touching your body, shoulders relaxed. Pull down hard. Hold it there, freeze. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Make sure you pull a little extra hard. Create maximum pressure in your lower abdomen. Change arms and legs down. Left leg up. Interlock 10 fingers below your knee. Pull your knee to your left shoulder. Avoid your rib cage. Right leg straight, calf on the floor. If not, flex your right foot in. Chin down, neck flat. Elbows in. Shoulders relax. Use your biceps. Pull down hard. Hold it there. Eyes open, breathing normal. Pull a little extra hard, maximum pressure. Hip joint might hurt a little bit. Change, arms and legs down. Immediately both legs up. Grab your elbows each other, a couple of inches below your knees if possible. Nice tight grip, compact. Feet relaxed, side by side position. Chin down, neck flat, shoulders relaxed. Body nice and tight, compact. Hold it there. Eyes open, breathing normal. Be very still like a statue. Eventually in the future, when you improve your bone joints, your skeletal system enough, one day your total spine will be perfectly flat on the floor. Change. Arms and legs down. Relax. Dead body pose. Heels touch. Toes fall apart. Palms up. Eyes open. Breathing normal through your nose. Second set, right leg up, interlock 10 fingers below your knee. Pull your knee to your right shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage. Left leg straight, calf on the floor. If not, flex your left foot in. Chin down, neck flat. Shoulders relaxed. Pull down hard, hold it there. Eyes open, breathing normal. Pull extra hard, maximum pressure, massaging your ascending colon. Change, arms and leg down. Left leg up, interlock 10 fingers below your knee. Pull your knee to your left shoulder. Maybe one day your knee touches the shoulder. Maybe not. Neither way is right or wrong. Chin down, neck flat. Shoulders relaxed. Pull down hard. Create maximum pressure. Do your best to maintain it. Massaging your descending colon with your left leg. Change. Arms and legs down. Immediately both legs up. Grab your elbows each other. A couple of inches below the knees if possible. Nice tight grip. Compact. Feet relaxed side by side. Chin down, neck flat. Again, try to get your neck flat on the floor. Shoulders relax, releasing the neck. Body compact. Eyes open. Breathing normal. You're massaging your transverse colon. Change. Arms, legs down. Relax. Dead body pose. Arms down. Legs down. Eyes open. Breathing through your nose. If you have any low back problems, skip the sit-ups, roll to your side, push yourself up instead. Otherwise, bring your feet together, toes still touch, flex your toes towards your face, heels and legs stay on the floor. Arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Arms head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, elbows to floor. Turn around, lay down on your stomach, facing the front of your mat. We're going to start the spine training series off with Cobra Bhujangasana. Bring your chin on the floor, hands underneath your shoulders, close to your chest. Hands, palms flat, five fingers together. Check out the placement. Fingertips in line with the tops of your shoulders, baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Bring your feet and heels together, legs tight, solid, concrete, looks good. You have one cobra tail, don't open it. Elbows in, touching your body, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, breathing, look up and come up. Using your 100% low back strength, come up halfway only until only your belly button is on the floor, the rest of your upper body off the floor in the air. Looks good at the same time from the side. Your elbows look like an L corner of a rectangle. Stretch your elbows towards your hips, shoulders relaxed, trapezius muscles visible in the mirror. Look up, chest up, lift up, change slowly, lower down, chin down, look to your right. Left ear on the towel. Bring your arms down side, palms up. Big toes touch. 
heels fall apart, releasing your low back and spine. Eyes open, breathing on with your nose. Seconds at chin on the floor, Bhujangasana, hands under your shoulders, close to your chest. Not too far in, not too far out, not too high, not too low, not turned in, not turned out. Bring your feet and heels together, legs tight. You have one cobra tail. Elbows in, touching your body, shoulders relax. So drop your shoulders forward toward your fingertips. Inhale, breathing, look up and come up. Using your 100% low back strength, halfway, only belly button on the floor. Look up for the ceiling, elbows in, stretch your elbows towards your hips. Bring your feet together if they separated. Look up, chest up, lift. Slowly lower down, beautiful chin down, look to your left, right here on the towel, eyes open, breathing normal through your nose. So first looking in one direction and then the other after each set, giving you an even stretch in your neck, your shoulders. We work to get the ear to the towel. A lot of times the cheek touches pretty easily. Don't force the ear. Just notice the more you practice, the closer you get. Locus, Salabhasana, arms straight position. Get the arms underneath your body. So you can turn the palms to face the floor. Lacey's going to demo for you. Bring one arm under the body. Roll to the other side. Bring the other arm under the body. So the palms are facing your mat. Baby fingers side by side. Spread your fingers apart. Grab the floor with your fingertips. If the elbows are bent, bring the arms out from under the body a little bit. Straighten out the arms. Better to have the arms straight than under the body and bent. Chin forward, neck flat. Grab the floor, left leg relax, right knee lock, pointed toes, inhale, breathing, lift your right leg up. Come up, go up, everybody up, go up. Minimum 45 degrees, half of 90, so you gotta come up a little more than that. Back hurts, elbows hurt, knee lock, pointed toes, lift, change, slowly lower down. Relax your right leg, lock your left knee, inhale, left leg up, come up, go up. Everybody up, minimum 45 degrees, half of 90, good. Press through your shoulders, use your upper back strength, leg up, lock your knee, pointed toes, slowly lower down. Turn your head in, kiss the towel, mouth on the floor, protecting your neck, cervical spine, readjust, maybe bring the hands closer, grab the floor, take a deep breath, inhale, without bending your knees, both legs up, come up, go up, everybody up, go up, you got it, feet together, knees lock, pointed toes, struggle, don't give up, lift, change, slowly lower down, super strong, look to your right, arms out, palms up, relax, breathe. Let's do the second set. Locus, arms straight, get the arms underneath your body, hands, palms on the floor, arms and elbows under the stomach, invisible. So you're strengthening the upper back and spine in this posture. Spread your fingers, grab the floor. The elbows are supposed to hurt a little bit, never sharp shooting pain. Bring your chin forward, left leg relax, right knee locked, inhale, breathing, lift your right leg up, come up, go up, minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Take the bend out of your knee, straighten your leg, point your toes, lift change slowly lower the right leg down left knee locked inhale left leg up come up go up really use your upper back strength especially press through your left shoulder bring the left hip back down to your forearm if you can straighten out your leg lock it lift it higher change slowly lower down good hold turn your head in Kiss the towel, readjust what you need, hands, palms closer, spread your fingers, grab the floor, take a deep breath, inhale, without bending your knees, both legs up, come up, go up, everybody up, go up, press to your shoulders, take a deep breath, come up a little more, lift, change, slowly lower down, really nice, look to your left, arms out, palms up, relax, come back to your breath, just breathe, dead body pose. working on the middle back and spine, full locust, arms out to the side, big airplane wings, 
Purna Salabhasana, chin on the floor. Bring your feet and legs together. So can you have that one cobra tail, the cobra posture, legs tight, solid, knees locked, pointed toes, don't open it. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, look up, arms, body, head, leg, everything lifts. 747, take off. Look up, chest up, arms up, arms back, fingertips the same level as the top of your head. You got it, only your hip bones pressing into the floor. Rest of the body off the floor, legs up, chest up, look up, go up, lift, slowly lower down. Chin down, look to your right, left feet on the towel, arms down, relax, come back to your breath, stillness. We're working each portion of the back and spine before we, before we put all three parts together. First the lower and cobra, the upper back and spine and locus. Now working on the middle back and spine. It's responsible for keeping your chest, your upper body upright as you age. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Chin forward, feet and legs together, solid concrete. You have one cobra tail. Inhale, breathing, look up, arms, body, head, leg, everything lift. 747, take off, round trip, look up, chest up, arms up, legs up, chest. So look up, exhale, come up one more time at the end, slowly lower down, beautiful chin down, look to your left, arms down, relax. Everything you've done so far from the beginning, even the breathing, half moon, hands to feet, awkward eagle, everything, every posture leading up until this point specifically prepares your body for bow pose, strengthening your entire spine in one posture. Chin on the floor, Dhanurasana, bend your knees. Hold your feet from the outside two inches below your toes. What does that mean? Baby fingers are close to your toe creases, not the ankles. Make sure you have the tops of the feet, just like Lacey and Randall. Five fingers together, six inches between your knees and feet. Shoulders relaxed. Inhale, breathing. Gently kick your legs back and up behind you. Kick back, kick up, head up, look up, kick up. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Roll forward, toes in the center from the side. Bring your knees in, wrist straight, look up, kick harder. Slowly lower down. Chin down, look to your right. Arms down, relax, breathe. Again, you're strengthening your entire spine and bow pose, lower, middle, upper. You've warmed up the body so you can get the most benefits without injury. Second set, chin on the floor, bend your knees, hold your feet from the outside, two inches below your toes, five fingers together, wrist straight, toes pointed. If you want, you can start with the knees touching this time, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, gently kick back, kick up, first kick, kick back, kick up, kick back, kick up, head up, look up, kick some more, keep kicking, don't stop kicking, roll a little more forward, toes in the center from the side, knees in, wrist straight, look up, kick, slowly lower down, chin down, look to your left, arms down, relax, breathe. Chin on the floor, hands under your shoulders, push yourself up carefully. Go to the top of your mat for Supes of Adrasana, fix firm. Sit down Japanese style, kneel down position. Separate your feet, sit between your heels. Hips touch floor, heels always touch your hips. Now as a beginner, or if your knees or feet hurt, open your knees as much as you need. It doesn't matter how far. And if your hips are not on the floor yet, rest some weight somewhere beside of you on your hands. If your hips touch comfortably, palms on toes, thumbs in, fingers out. First go down right elbow, then left. One by one, relax your head. Touch the top of your head, back of your head, shoulders. Whole upper body relax. Arms overhead, grab your elbows. Gently pull your elbows to the floor. Chin down, neck flat. Lift your chest and stomach up to the ceiling, creating a natural human bridge. Eventually, or in the future, one day your knees are going to touch. Make sure they never come off the floor. Eyes open, breathing normal through your nose. Bring your hands to your feet, push yourself up carefully. Come back up the opposite way, turn around, relax on your back, dead body pose, savasana. Arms down, legs down, eyes open, breathing through your nose. Doing your best to find stillness physically as well as mentally. 
relax. Let's do a sit up. Bring your feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs. Arms head together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, elbows to floor. Then turn around, go to the top of your mat, second set, knees and feet together, Sudha Vajrasana, fix firm, separate your feet, sit between your heels, open your knees as much as you need, maybe this time you try to keep the knees a little closer than the first set, palms on toes, thumbs in, fingers out, go down, right elbows and left, take your time, top of the head, back of the head, shoulders, arms overhead, grab your elbows, and if you're all the way relaxed, full expression, see if you can bring the opposite arm on top, second set, switching up your grip. It's a good time to switch up the grip since you're not balancing on one standing leg. Chin down, neck flat. Lift your chest and stomach. You can try to walk your knees closer. Eyes open. Also, you're boosting your immune system through the stimulation of your spleen in this posture by lifting the chest. Bring your hands to your feet. Push yourself up the opposite way. Turn around. Relax. Dead body pose. Feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, elbows to floor. Turn around, go to the back or middle of your towel for half tortoise, knees and feet together, Ardha Karmasana, sit Japanese style, kneel down position, top of your feet flat on the floor, no gap under your ankles, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, cross your thumbs, arms with ears, chin up, try to keep your hips on your heels. Exhale, stomach in, slowly go down, straight spine. Touch your forehead first, maybe fingers, the rest of your arms off the floor in the air. Arms straight, elbows locked. Stretch your arms forward. Try to touch the front mirror with your fingertips. Feel your shoulder blades, scapula stretch out of your body. At the same time, push your hips back to touch your heels. Chin away from your chest. Eyes open. Breathing normal through your nose. Arms head together. Inhale, come up core tight. Stretch up spine straight. Exhale, arms down. Turn around. Relax. Breathe. Let's do a sit up. Bring your feet together. Toes in. Arms overhead. Cross your thumbs. Arms head together. Inhale quickly. Sit up. Grab your toes. Exhale. Forward to knees. Elbows to floor. Turn around. Go to the back or middle of your towel. Second set. Half tortoise. Knees and feet together. Inhale. Arms overhead. Palms together. Cross your thumbs. Arms with ears. Chin up. Exhale. Stomach in. Slowly go down. Straight spine. Use control. Try for no crash landings. Forehead. And baby fingers, it's okay if it's not in that order today. One day it will be, just keep trying. Arms for stretch forward. Try to touch the mirror, the wall in front of you with your fingertips. Push your hips back to touch your heels. Chin away from your chest, eyes open, breathing normal. Really stretch forward, push your hips back, total spine stretch from top to bottom. Arms head together, inhale, come up, core tight, stretch up. Exhale, arms down, turn around, relax. Half tortoise is also called posture relaxation. It gives you relaxation. Maybe notice a little extra wave of calmness come over your body, your breath, your thoughts. Go with it.
Let's do a sit up, feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms up together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, go to the top of your mat for camel, stand up on your knees, deepest back foot in the series. If you've never done it, feel free to watch and then join in. Six inches between your knees and feet inside your legs, hands on your low back, from behind, fingers down, thumbs outside. Take a deep breath, full lungs, exhale, push your hips forward, relax your head, eyes open, slowly go back halfway, stop in the middle. Bring your right hand to right heel, thumb out, fingers in, left hand to left heel, thumb out, fingers in. You can keep the hands on the back, you get the same benefit, don't let go. Everybody exhale, eyes open, push your stomach, legs, hips forward, push harder, keep pushing. Your back's supposed to hurt just a little bit, 360 degree angle, backward bend for gravity. Hands on your back, one by one, push yourself up carefully, chest up, chin up, spine straight, stop in the middle, sit down, turn around. Relax, dead body pose, arms down, legs down, eyes open, come back to your stillness, breathe. Feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, go to the top of your mat, second set, stand up on your knees. This time you can open the knees a little wider if you like, eight to 10 inches, so six between your feet. Hands on your low back, camel. Take a deep breath, full lungs, exhale. Push your hips forward, relax your head, eyes open. Slowly go back halfway, stop in the middle. First right hand to right heel, then left hand to left heel. Thumbs out, fingers in. Get a full palm grip, don't let go. Exhale, eyes open, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward. Relax the head, tongue behind the teeth. Push a little more with your hips, push harder. Hands on your back, push yourself up carefully. Chest up, chin up, stop in the middle, sit down, turn around. Relax, dead body pose. Sometimes this posture makes us feel a little bit uncomfortable. Come back to your savasana as quick as you can. Relax. Breathe. Feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms set together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, go to the back or middle of your towel for rabbit posture. Lacey, if you want to turn to the side, perfect. Lacey's going to show you how to get the proper grip for your feet. Rabbit is the deepest forward bend. If you're not sure what to do, feel free to watch for a set. Hands on your low back, slide your hands down, grab your feet, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Pull your heel, exhale, tuck your chin, look at your stomach, suck it in, slowly round down front side, take your time, touch your forehead to knees, top of the head on the floor, you got it, exhale, hips up all the way, roll forward like a wheel until your arms and elbows are straight, you can see here, arms, elbows straight, there's a gap between your knees and forehead, carefully walk your knees up one by one until they touch. Lift your shoulders away from your ears. Take the pressure off your neck and head. You got it, Randall. Stomach in. Pull harder. Lift your hips. Inhale carefully. Uncurl. Beautiful. Chin up. Last. Relax. Dead body pose. Really nice rabbit postures. And the counter to camel. Camel deepest back bend. Rabbit deepest forward bend. Opening up both sides of the spine as well as compression creating space between the discs, the vertebrae, prevents future injuries. Bend your spine in all four directions in this practice, front to back, side to side. Let's just sit up, feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees. 
turn around, second set rabbit, knees and feet together. You can use a towel if you want over your feet. You don't have to. Sometimes it's good to have a dry grip. Thumbs out, fingers in. Pull your heels and exaggerate the tuck. Exhale, tuck your chin. Look at your stomach. Suck it in. Slowly go down. The slower you go, the better you'll do. So take your time. Touch your forehead and knees. Hop ahead on the floor. Exhale, lift your hips all the way. You got it. Roll forward like a wheel. Arms, elbows straight. Walk your knees up to touch your forehead if there's a gap. Make sure there's no more than 30% weight on your head. Pull harder. Press to your knees. Shoulders away from your ears. Lift your hips. Inhale, carefully uncurl. Chin up last. You got it. Relax. Dead body pose. Arms down. Legs down. Relax. Breathe. Let's just sit up, feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, elbows to the floor, turn around, sit on your bum, face the front of your mat, head to knee with stretching, John Ushirasana with Paschimottanasana, right leg out cornerwise, left leg in, bring your heel to your costume, sole of the foot on the inner right thigh, legs look like L, inhale, arms overhead, turn to your right, reach forward, interlock, 10 fingers below your toes, Pull your toes, flex your foot, look at your stomach, suck it in, round over like rabbit, touch your forehead to knee. If the forehead and knee don't touch, bend your knee as much as you need. Pull your toes, roll to the left, left elbow down, left shoulder down, left knee on the floor. Keep rolling in, pushing your knee down, forehead touching position. Roll in, roll in, get your forehead closer to your stomach, push your knee down. Change. Inhale, come up. Switch out your legs. Left leg out and right leg in. Arms overhead. Turn left. Reach forward. If you can't reach the foot, bend your knee. I'll make it easier to grab the foot. Pull the toes in. Flex your foot. Look at your stomach. Touch your forehead to your left knee. Bend your knee as much as you need. You can even bend your elbows down next to your calf if you like. Roll to the right. Right elbow down. Right shoulder down. Right knee on the floor. See if you can get your forehead a little bit higher on the knee. Push your knee down with the help of your forehead change. Inhale, come up. Both legs in front. Lay down on your back as soon as your arms touch. Inhale, you know, quickly sit up. Realigning the spine with the sit up. Hook your peace fingers around your big toe. So they go between the big and second. Hook the big toe. Pull your toes. Walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. 10, 15 times. One day both legs are flat on the floor. Chin forward, chest forward. If the knees aren't flat today, that's okay. The legs aren't flat, no big deal. It'll happen one day. Chin forward, inhale, pull. Stretch your upper body forward from the lower spine. Flex your ten toes in. If your heels come up off the floor, bend your elbows next to your calves. Touch your stomach to thighs, chest to knees. Pull harder. Your goal is to touch your forehead to your big toes. Pull, stretch, change. Inhale, come up, turn around. Relax, dead body pose, arms down, legs down, Savasana. Saving the deepest postures for the end of the practice. Warm up your body, each posture builds upon the next, preparing your body. So we sit up, feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms sit together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, forward to knees, turn around, sit on your bum, second set, head to knee with stretching, right leg out, left leg in, heels to costume, legs look like L, arms overhead, turn right, reach forward, interlock your fingers, below the toes, pull your toes, flex your foot, heel off the floor, look at your stomach, suck it in, touch your forward to knee. Think about rounding the spine, right, stomach in, look toward your stomach, you might not see it, that's okay. Eyes open, pull your toes in, roll to the left, left elbow down, left shoulder down, left knee on the floor, get your forehead high on the knee, push your knee down, change, inhale, come up, switch it out, left leg out, right leg in, arms overhead, turn left, reach forward, interlock your fingers, pull the toes, flex your foot, forehead to knee, work to make that forehead to knee con connection, slightly uncomfortable in your throat maybe, again, good for your Thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, roll to the right, right elbow down, right shoulder down. Pull your toes, use your forehead, push your knee down. One day leg will be flat, your heel lifts off the floor. 
change. Inhale up, both legs in front. Lay down on your back. Arms touch quickly. Sit up. Good. Grab your peace fingers around your big toes. Wrap them around. Pull, walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. One leg, both legs are flat. Chin forward, chest forward. Inhale, pull, stretch. You're lengthening. Keep the chest forward. Chin forward, pull. Flex your ten toes in. If your heels come off the floor, bend your elbows. Pull harder. Last deep stretch. Make it count. Touch your forehead to your big toes. Change. Inhale, come up, turn around. Relax. Arms down, legs down, eyes open. Breathing normal. Feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms head together, inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees, turn around, face the front of your mat, spine twist, last par posture, one set, Ardha Matsi and Jasana. So we're going to face the front of the mat, bend your left knee, <laughs> it's okay, no big deal. We're used to turning towards, you know, a certain direction here, but we're turning so that you guys can see us the best, you figure out what to do, right? Bend your left knee, right foot over, left knee corner. Heel the side of your knee, foot flat. Sit up nice and tall, chest up. Bring your left arm up over your knee. Push your knee back with the elbow. Grab your left knee, left hand. If you can't reach the knee, try to get the mat towel or get something for leverage. Right arm around the back of the thigh, cuffs in behind you, palm out. Or bring the palm right behind your hips. Press down, arms straight. Take a deep breath. Inhale, stretch up. Look back over your right shoulder. Way, 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 way back. Chin over the shoulder, twist. Feel each and every joint, vertebrae, cartilage, twist from top to bottom like a pearl necklace look back twist 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 a little more change carefully untwist unwind rewind switch it out bend your right knee if you need to modify right leg out straight left foot over right knee corner perfect both hips down sit up nice and tall this time right arm up over the knee push your knee back get it out of your way use the elbow push it back grab your right knee right hand perfect see how randall has his hand knee and heel touch at the same spot on the floor foot's not way out or way back against the thigh. Sit up nice and tall, left arm around or palm down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Twist, look way, way, way back. Chin over the shoulder, twist. If you can drop the right shoulder down, both shoulders in line, go look back, twist. Twist, look back a little farther. Change, carefully untwist, relax on your back. Dead body pose. So 26 postures complete. We always start this practice off with pranayama breathing, warming the body from the inside out. It's good for your lungs, respiratory system. And we finish the class with kapalabhati and vajrasana, blowing in firm. Good for your abdominal muscles, stomach organs. Starting the cooling process from the inside out. We have one more sit up. Make it the strongest one you've done today. Feet together, toes in, arms overhead, cross your thumbs, arms head together. Inhale quickly, sit up, grab your toes, exhale, touch your forehead to knees. Nice turn around, face the front of your mat. You can sit knees and feet together. If that's too much, sit Indian style, cross your legs. If your knees are together, hands on your knees in front of you, arms straight, elbows locked. If you're sitting with the legs crossed, hands on the floor beside of your hips, arms are straight either way to support your spine. Stomach, relax. We have two sets of breathing. Exhale, blow out through your mouth. Inhale will happen by itself. Automatically, your stomach will be sucked in. I'll keep count with a clap. Just exhale, begin. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Lick your lips, swallow, readjust if you need. Second set's a little bit faster, higher in the diaphragm. First part's a little bit lower in the stomach. Keep up as best you can. Just exhale, concentrate, begin.
five, four, three, two, one. On your series if you like, maybe have some water, turn around, find your final savasana. Awesome job, you made it. So find your final savasana. Try to take two minutes, maybe a little bit longer if you like. Feel free to spread your feet apart, your arms, close your eyes. Let your whole body relax. You guys worked hard. Be proud of yourself. Enjoy this time for yourself. Thank you for watching, sharing your time, your practice, me to guide you. Whole body relax. Namaste.